Gigabit connectivity is not only important, but it's necessary today. So there are two targets in terms of connectivity. First one is concerning fixed connectivity, so basically to have all homes, all businesses, uh, all schools, public administration buildings connected with one gigabit connectivity. The second target is related to 5G, and with 5G our target for 2030 is to make sure that we have all populated areas completely covered. There are significant investments needed. Part of this is coming from the public uh, sources, but majority of the investments are needed from the private uh, sector. The biggest cost to the building of the broadband is related to uh, civil infrastructure, for example, ducts. We propose Gigabit Infrastructure Act. It is regulations and the Gigabit Infrastructure Act will allow for many cost reductions. One of them is thanks to that, that for example, energy utility companies, water utility companies and telecom companies can coordinate better works, but also very important elements like permit granting. This we want to ensure that it's done much quicker, that it is also done digital, so the requests can be done online. We are also streamlining access to these tasks for different operators to make sure that operators can get on fair and reasonable terms access to DAX. Another interesting element of the Gigabit Infrastructure Act is thinking already ahead and making sure that the new buildings will be already equipped in fiber. Economy and society is changing, technology is changing. People are not only using connectivity for streaming, for connecting, for working, but they, are, they will more and more use it for augmented reality, metaverse, uh, artificial intelligence. There are many factors that are making the gigabit connectivity absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm.